Hello all, today we are going to learn how to use Prometheus in Spring Boot application to monitor different instances. A summary in nine simple steps. First step, install the Docker. And second step, download the Spring Boot example from Spring Initializer with three dependencies, Activator, Prometheus, Web. And third step, update the application.properties to collect the Prometheus matrix. Fourth step, create the Spring um, create a prometheus.yml file with scrap config details like job name, metrics path, static configs. And fifth step, bring up the Spring Boot container and test the endpoint to check the Prometheus in activator list. And sixth step, pull the Prometheus Docker image and run the Docker image as a container. And seventh step, pull Grafana image and run the Docker image as a container. And eighth step, set up the Prometheus in Grafana and see the metrics. Ninth step, test the endpoint and capture the different metrics. Let's see more details with a good example. First what we need to do, we need to install Docker image We need to install Docker, sorry. I just installed the Docker and let's see which version it is and what are the different images available right now. The current version is 19.3.12 and uh, what are the different images right now I have not filled any images there is no images available let's check yes and next step is create a sample file from simple example from the spring initializer you you choose Marvin project and language is Java and the version is 2.3.4 current stable version and the com dot from uh, just uh, you provide the project metadata and packaging uh, as a jar and uh, I'm currently using Java 8 version and add dependencies as I said three dependencies one is activator and second one is Prometheus. Third one is web. Done. And the next step is you simply click generate to download this example. I just generated it and I am importing the same project in my favorite editor. I just imported the fa my favorite editor. And now I'm going to write one simple endpoint which can which can be used to collect different metrics and to see different graphs in Grafana as well as Prometheus. I just written one simple endpoint, hello endpoint, and just I'm bringing up the container whether the application is up and running. just it's taking some time yeah now application is run up and running and just check yes the application is up and running now the second uh, as i said uh, third step we need to update the application dot properties with simple We need to include this endpoint. We need to include uh, this uh, uh, Prometheus to view our metrics. And second, the, uh, the, the property name is management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot include. And we need to include Prometheus. Yes, we include it now. Next step is 
Okay, just before before stop studying, I just check what is the activator is giving results for us. Localhost colon activator. And this activator, it's just giving different endpoints like uh, activator and uh, different health matrix also it's giving. Let's see. I just uh, stop start the application once again because I updated the management uh, um, endpoints. As soon as I bring up the container in the meantime, I just go to the browser. Yeah, it brought up. See the actuator. And now we included only Prometheus to collect this matrix. Our aim is to see the Prometheus matrix. Let's see what is the different matrix Prometheus is giving with this endpoint. Just open this in browser. See, these are the different matrix it is providing. Let's see, and we can see the same details in a Prometheus server. And before that, six step, what we need to do, we need to pull the Prometheus Docker image. What we need to do, just go to the, I already had a, I just copied the commands. I'm just pulling Docker image for the Prometheus. Yeah, it's downloading. In the meantime, I will also pull the Docker image for the Grafana. Now the image is available now. Let's see Docker images yes image is available and now i will download grafana image now we downloaded the successfully two images Yes. The next step is we need to bring up these two images as a container. We run these images as container. To, to bring up this image, first we need to update the application dot and prometheus.yml file. We, we, we just uh, update the prometheus.yml file with scrap config details. Let's see what are the different scrap config details. And uh, these are the global intervals. These are the default values. OK, and the scrap config is most important. We need to send metrics to the particular server and with and uh, mm, we also collect metrics from the actuator endpoint. Actuator to Prometheus endpoint. Yeah, now the see just we saw the metrics right a few minutes back. Just I will also this is the endpoint which we are going we are going to collect the matrix from this endpoint this is the endpoint yeah and we need to configure this one activator and prometheus second step what we need to do is static config and static configs just we need to pull this uh, matrix to the particular server okay right now Let's see what is the um, when 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 we bring up the image uh, container uh, container like uh, we see the endpoint uh, we see the IP address of that particular container. Let's see. Now the endpoint is 172. Uh, now the IP address is 172.17152. 241 just copy yes this is endpoint and which we are going to bring up the um, Prometheus Prometheus container and the port number is 9090 now we bring up the container 
with simple step and uh, already we updated this uh, scrap config details just we use this uh, prometheus.yml to bring up the prometheus container we run the prometheus container with this uh, prometheus.yml file simply let's see how we are going to run it just copy this simple command docker run fn which port you are going to expose just we are going to expose that one and just run this simple command now the now the prometheus image um, images running as a container just close it let's see whether the prometheus image is up and running localhost colon 9090 is the port yes it's up and running and also we need, see there is no matrix not there is no matrix available yeah it is matrix available just uh, what we do is we just uh, stop start the container one more time to push this matrix to the server this is the endpoint and we see what are the different matrix we can choose any any one of the matrix available here and just to see the graph and just it just started the graph correct right now we see and we run our endpoint and see how localhost colon hello and see the any change in the matrix by refreshing one one more time yes there is a change in graph see right okay done now what is the next step we we already pulled the grafana docker image right we bring uh, grafana we bring up the this uh, grafana container we run this container with simple step yeah docker run and the name is you can give any name that's not a matter just we are uh, running this uh, container now yeah now the container is up and running and let's see how to configure this uh, grafana now localhost colon 3000 3000 is the default port for the grafana it will ask you to log in and default login is admin and password also admin only once you first time logged in it will ask you to change the password i am skipping this first at this moment now you need to configure your data source our data source is prometheus correct right and uh, already this uh, this uh, it is supporting many data sources one of them is prometheus now i am selecting this uh, prometheus just i selected and what you need to do is you already had a ip address of this particular prometheus correct right i can just uh, configure this one http colon backslash backslash and the port port is 9090 for the prometheus let's see one more time where this with this port the application is up and running yes with this port this application is up and running just i am configuring the same inside this and also access is browser you need to specify access is browser now we specified it and just save and test now the data source is working fine and now we see how to configure the matrix how to see the graphs and just add a panel by default it's supporting it's directly directly going to the default uh, prometheus and just select the prometheus 
and what sort of, what sort of matrix you want to configure in this dashboard and you can choose whatever the matrix you want multiple matrices also we can select okay let's see i'm just copying this uh, matrix from the prometheus and just i'm preparing the query for this and the query inspector just i'm verifying whether it is up and running and just if refresh and just uh, that's it as soon as you uh, you apply the query, ins query inspector and the query is uh, um, successful and now you can see the graphs here see 